<laughs> Sorry. With the weather finally clearing up, it was time to fly the plastic airplane. The Spitfire has a neat wing mounting system that simply slides a locking mechanism into place. We couldn't resist a bit of fake flying with the club president to lighten the mood. So I finally got the 3D lab print Spitfire ready to go. I decided to use the motor off the crazy wing. We got a 4S2200 and uh, we're ready to go. All the controls are set up and this will be the maiden flight. So we're gonna see how this thing flies. Let's go. I commissioned another club member to hand launch for me as I wanted all hands on sticks. Can. All right, 3D printed Spitfire. This is going to be the first launch. Down. Camera goes. Yeah. All right, here goes nothing. With a burst of throttle, we were off. Ah. Straight into the ground. <laughs> Crap. An unwanted durability test. Ah. Back to the pits for a damage assessment. Yeah, is that fixable? It was nothing that couldn't be fixed with copious use of tape. Lots of tape. That's what I would do. And the, uh, the, the other thing, I got one of those 3D orders, so... With the field repair complete, it was time for the next round. Try it here this time. All right, round two. We used some uh, duct tape and bubble gum. We're going to try it again. I think it didn't have enough up elevator, so I put in some up trim. And uh, Mr. Dave here is going to give me another launch. That's how it goes. Will she fly? <laughs> A much better launch, but horribly out of trim. Uh. <laughs> I mean, really out of trim. After some minor scares, she was finally settled in and under control. <laughs> he needed a lot of down. At several points in the flight, the model virtually disappeared. Sorry, it was way out of trim. <laughs> oh man, what a ride. Hey, it's smoothing out. It's smoothing out though. Holy crap, it's uh, Wonder Woman's airplane though. <laughs> Flies nice though, actually. I tried a high speed pass, but things were a little bit touchy. The elevator's a little sensitive. This is like one third throttle. Yeah, the elevator needs some expo in it. The roll. All right, do a loop. Whoa! A little bit easier on that elevator. Yeah, elevator real sensitive. Did a snap on me. Okay, no loops. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to double check the CG too. Yeah, it looks. It looks it's like it may be a little tail heavy. Right on the edge. I couldn't resist another high-speed pass. Which were quite impressive. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> another roll. <laughs> Despite the marginal CG, I was really having a good time flying the model. It didn't fly heavy or feel underpowered. It's actually really nice, though. I started to think I was a marvel of engineering and design. Other than the hair trigger elevator. Though not perfect. Even that's not that bad, actually. Which can be fixed. <laughs> it looked like it had a lot of throw on the elevator. It does, but I, I think the CG may be just yeah. right on the... I checked your CG, but... Uh... For a first flight, I saw nothing that caused me concern in the flight qualities. My only reservation is in how delicate the model is. I hope future designs can be made a bit more durable. I land in the tall grass. Oops. Yeah. I'm going long. <laughs> Whoops. I'm going to go around. Cool. <laughs> Got a good glide ratio. It also slows down surprisingly well. Though, I did seem to run out of elevator authority at the last second. Ah. All right. <laughs> hey. 
It flew! It flew! Oh man! <laughs> a little hairy at first. I think the CG is right at the rear limits, but it flew really nice. A little, I think a little tweak on the expo and the elevator, and I'll have one sweet flying plane. And a little bit of more nose way. I think I shift the battery a little bit more forward. Uh, other than that, the duct tape bubble gum worked. Uh, my first 3D printed airplane. Uh, I'm quite impressed with it. I think it flies really nice. Uh, it just needs a little bit of tweaks and some color. Man, that thing was almost invisible at some point. Uh, in fact, at one point, I thought it was rolling left and it rolled right. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely recommend some decals or painting the thing. Flying it clear is uh, for left, best left for experienced pilots. But uh, I think we have a winner. Uh, I'll get some tweak it a bit and try it again. And uh, maybe take some Prozac and I'll be okay. Surprisingly, my 3D plane caught the attention of two young students who had quite a few questions about it. Uh, what uh, 3D printer did you use? I use a Prusa i3. It's just a lot you can do with 3D printer, especially if you can draw it. Have you been able to actually draw your pieces yourself? Yeah, we actually had to design them ourselves. Oh, very good. What would you use to draw it with? Uh, we used Tinkercad. Oh, yeah, I'm familiar with that. That's the web-based one. I usually use other programs, but the Tinkercad was... Just... What other programs do you use? I like to use OpenSCAD. A couple of last thoughts before I go. Uh, the tape held. That's really nice. Duct tape and, uh, is uh, the magic thing of all things mechanical. Uh, I wanted to say that the same motor I used on a Crazy Wing and a 1010 prop was perfect power setup for this. I could ask for no more power. Most of the flight was pretty much at one-third throttle. So I really couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, we'll go home and fix it up. And in the comment section, I'll leave a note of what I use for the control throws. I've already downloaded a couple more designs from the 3D Labs company, and I'll print those out and see how those goes. They got some neat stuff coming out. And until next time, we'll see you later. I prefer somebody that's done less hand launches to do it. It's a better video.